presumptive Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump masqueraded as a spokesman for himself in the 1990s, The Washington Post reports. In a recording obtained by the paper, a voice similar to Mr. Trump's purporting to be a media representative advocates for the billionaire businessman. Reporters would hear from the spokesman, John Miller, or John Barron, when asking to interview Mr. Trump. Mr. Trump denied the story to the Today Show on Friday. No, I don't know anything about it. You're telling me about it for the first time and it doesn't sound like my voice at all, he said. I have many, many people that are trying to imitate my voice and you can imagine that. This sounds like one of these scams, one of the many scams. It doesn't sound like me. It was not me on the phone. And it doesn't sound like me on the phone, I will tell you that. It was not me on the phone. However, in 1990, Mr. Trump admitted in court he and one of his employees used the name John Barron in business dealings during a case about undocumented Polish workers constructing Trump Tower. A lawyer for the workers said he received a call from someone named Mr. Barron who threatened to sue if he did not drop a lawsuit over withheld pay for the workers, the New York Times reported. A reporter for People magazine contacted Mr. Trump's office in 1991 to interview him about the end of his marriage to Ivana Trump and his relationship with model Marla Maples. The media spokesman called the reporter, Sue Carswell, back and began telling her about why Mr. Trump broke up with Ms. Maples for Italian model Carla Bruni. He really didn't want to make a commitment, said the man claiming to be John Miller. He's coming out of a marriage, and he's starting to do tremendously well financially. Once, Mr. Miller slipped out of talking about Mr. Trump in the third person in a conversation with Ms. Carswell, but quickly corrected himself. Mr. Trump is the presumptive Republican nominee after pushing out more than a dozen Republican rivals in the race for the White House. Traditional Republicans are warming to him to unify the party and beat likely Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton. The divisive candidate, who in the past has been a registered Democrat, has no prior political experience. He has made controversial calls to build a border wall with Mexico, deport undocumented immigrants from the country and ban Muslims from the U.S. House Speaker Paul Ryan has still not officially backed him but the two recently met in Washington and had a productive meeting.